All right, I've been asked to give many uh, directions on how to make a hit and miss engine from an air compressor. This is an old Curtis air compressor. I'm not sure what year it is. Uh, my guess is 40s. Uh, who knows? Anyway, maybe 50s. But anyway, this is one of the later model air compressors. As you can see, it's been modified a little bit. Uh, let's start off with the uh, hit and miss here. I've made a collar, if you can see right here, that goes on the crank and it slides back and forth. Can you see that? It works this little lever here, which comes up here, and when it's working, it will hold the exhaust valve in, and that's how you get your hit and miss. When it comes around time, it will open it again and let it work freely just like it should and this is a compressor there's no combustion chamber so I had to make a spacer as you can see right here I don't know if that's coming out or not but anyway there's a about a one inch spacer the between the head and the block now the Curtis whatever reason they decided uses the air passage in the block so I had to make a passage from the head into here through this little block and through here through the exhaust. Uh, had to modify the original head quite a bit with this exhaust valve here and had to put guides in it and all that other good stuff. Well, actually the exhaust was pretty much like it was the intake I just had to but there as you can see it's an atmospheric valve. Suction will will close that. The mixer is pretty straightforward just a pipe with a uh, restriction in it and then a needle valve right here and a fuel line here as you can see comes around to the other side here and then I made a fuel tank underneath the oil reservoir it was open so I made a plate here and a gasket and on the other side I fit, uh, drilled it for a uh, fitting for the gas but um, the fuel tanks down here here's your oil right here uh, the gears for the timing are Volkswagen air-cooled gears. You can see I had it mounted to the end of the crankshaft and then the cam gear went here. For the uh, ignition, I don't know if you can see it there, but there is a uh, little contact right here and a little tab on the end of this uh, side shaft that will contact that and make ignition. The cam was just a flat washer and then I got me a piece of quarter inch metal and rounded it off and shaped it to what I thought and welded it to this, this flat washer. And then the uh, cam rider or follower is just in a bearing off of a miter or something like that. I'm not sure where I got that from. It's just a bearing. Rides on there and uh, this little bracket right here. When I originally made it I had the mixer up here but for whatever reason it didn't seem to work as good. It was inconsistent. And so I put it down here. Seems to run a lot better that way. Here's the uh, fuel filter I was telling you about. So anyway, and the exhaust, this muffler is actually an old stove burner. I found it in a junk pile somewhere and that's um thought it would make a good muffler and it turns out it makes out a pretty good muffler. The weights for the governor are right here. They're just pieces of metal with some round bar welded onto them and they contact this little sleeve that I made and there I just welded some washers to a sleeve and as you can see they seems to work okay. And anyway there you have it. Now as cantankerous as these things tend to be we can go ahead and see if it will run a little uh, homemade uh, portable ignition system as you can see it has both a buzz coil and I used a uh, ignition coil if I want to run low tension but it'll it'll work either direction low tension or high tension but anyway let's see if she'll uh, fire up
there you have it. Your hit and miss engine made from a Curtis compressor. This is Vernon the Pitman, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.